As an AV or a network engineer, knowing how to configure a Cisco switch is essential. In this video, I'm going to show you some of the most important commands that you need to know. I'll also give you a brief overview of how to connect to the Cisco switch command line interface. AV Network Guy here. There are a lot of different network switches on the market today, and they all come with different features. As an AV commissioning engineer, you need to be familiar with the most popular brands so you can configure them correctly for your needs. Some of the top brands in the industry are Cisco, Extreme Networks, Netgear, Aruba, Luminex, and many others. In this video, we're going to go over some of the basic commands for the Cisco Catalyst switches. This will help you understand what's going on with a switch that's already been configured or one that's right out the box. Before you begin, make sure you have the right cables to connect and interface with the switch. Most enterprise level switches include a console interface cable in the box. For the cables that come with the Cisco Catalyst switches, make sure you have the correct Windows drivers for them. To connect to the switch via the CLI console port, you'll need to use a console cable. Plug the console cable into the switch and into your utility laptop or PC. On your utility PC or laptop, open a terminal emulator program, such as HyperTerminal, Terminal, PuTTY, or TerraTurn. Configure the terminal emulator program with the following settings. Baud rate at 9600, data bits 8, parity none, stop bits 1, and flow control to none. On some of the more recent models, such as the 9300 Catalyst, if 9600 baud rate doesn't work, you can try 115,200. You should now see a login prompt. Enter your username and password. After logging into the switch, you'll be at the command prompt on a user level. You have limited access and can only run a few commands, such as ping. To gain more access, you'll need to enter privilege mode. To do that, type enable and hit enter. From there, you'll have what I would compare to a power user access. If the switch has a secret password enabled, you'll need to enter that password to access privilege mode. However, we don't need to worry about that for now. Once you're in privilege mode, you will see a hashtag on the right side of the host name. Today, we'll focus on some show commands. Show running config which displays the running configuration on the switch. Show VLAN, which displays the VLAN information on the switch. Show interface and interface name displays the information about a specific interface. Show IP route displays routing table information on the switch. Show CDP neighbors displays information about other devices that the switch is connected to via CDP. This can be useful for troubleshooting connectivity issues or for reference when configuring network devices. And show version, which displays the switch software version. Next, type show version and hit enter. Follow the on-screen prompts and options at the bottom of the screen. Then let me know what you found out about the switch in the comments section. If you have any trouble connecting to the switch, please let me know so I can help you troubleshoot. In the next video, We'll cover more Cisco CLI commands. If you found this video helpful, show your support by liking, commenting, and subscribing. Also, be sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Until next time.